Hi, and welcome to the show. Again, we thank God that you can view the show, whether it's in your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, any other area in your home. We're just excited to bring you that ministry to present. We have some great information for you today, but uh, the important is we're thanking God uh, for the volunteers that have made commitments to come down each year since Katrina and help in with the rebuild, even either our, our, our houses of worship or either uh, members or even citizens uh, or homes and, and just help uh, bring the community back. We, we thank God for them and, and our prayers are going out to them and we, 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 we hope that they keep coming because we know that the area is not, uh, the whole city is not completely uh, uh, back, uh, especially I, I advise and, and uh, encourage uh, individuals, family members and uh, visitors to go down to the Lower Night Ward and, and visit the area, uh, see the devastation, but uh, imagine uh, the restoration that the Lord is doing. It's, it, it's slow, but it's show, but w we need people to be persistent and keep on coming that we can get that area back and we realize that uh, with people coming back, uh, the, the population will get bigger and more opportunities will get bigger. Uh, uh, schools and uh, businesses and, and uh, other things of that nature will come back. Uh, but but also we want to thank God for our uh, co-host, the Reverend uh, Dow Smith, all, also uh, known as DK Smith, 9.40 a.m. on your radio dial, uh, WYLD. Uh, he has a saying that he says uh, that makes me feel good in the evening. Yeah, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., I take you home in style with a smile. And, and, and you say that because? Well, I say that because I let, well, because it's true. Because it's true. And he, he, he's so modest. He don't want you to know that he is the PM pastor and that yeah. uh, a, a lot of not only the good information that he gives, but the, uh, the melodic sounds that he play for uh, those individuals. Mm -hmm. but, but the great information that you give, you give him information that, that, that helps not only uh, individuals that go to church, but right. uh, all citizens of the city. Right. But, but, but look, look I, yeah, I was about to go a little bit further than that because not only do you have your uh, finger on the pulse of uh, what's taking place locally, but you do have an international flavor as That's well. Right. That's you want right. to talk about that? Well. Hi to all our international listeners. If you're listening, uh, uh, viewing us online, um, they can listen online for the radio station at am940.com. But for those who are here for that Ministry TV show, we invite you to check us out on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and use the search um, DAP Ministry TV show, you'll find this and other shows online. So for those who are able to get online, we appreciate it, whether you're on your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, smartphone, either way you can get online, you could watch that ministry's TV show. Also, we want to give condolences to um, the family and the first, um, eva um, first, evangelist. first evangelist Baptist Church and the passing of Reverend Warren Taylor Sr., who passed on the other day. Uh, once we get the arrangements, we'll let you know, but we're praying for Sister Marion, Ta Marion Taylor and all those involved, the family and the church members of First Evangelist Baptist Church. Again, uh, thank God for Reverend Warren Taylor, Sr. Also, uh, let you know that coming up on this Tuesday, that's October the 15th, is the National Night Out Against Crime. And that's gonna happen nationally, but I invite those in the Milan area to come out to 4025 South Saratoga by the Atkinson Stern Tennis Court across the street by the parking lot. We'll have the Night Out Against Crime event. Uh, we'll have music, we'll have food, uh, we'll have prizes, and uh, we'll just have a good time. We'll also have games, uh, like trivia games, like can you find someone who, who, who recently moved into the city or uh, different things like find someone who's on the same street that you live on and everything. So that means you have to interact with the neighbors. And that's really what it's all about, that you would get to know who your neighbors are. So again, invite you to Night Out Against Crime. That's from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Atkinson Stern Tennis Center uh, up in uptown the Milan area. Since I am the co-chairperson of our Mar Neighborhood Association, I'd like to uh, make invite. sure. Invite him, yeah. Invite, invite him. Let me get this announcement, and, and mm -hmm. you're going to announce our guest. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I'll, I'll probably do it on the second half because this is so important. Good, to, good. With, with the high level of crime in our area, it has been uh, the interest of a lot of organization, churches, and groups. Uh, Saving Kids Unlimited Incorporated is putting on a fun day, free food, mm -hmm. ages 1 through 11, October 19, 2011, and it's going to be in collaboration with True Love Missionary Baptist Church 26. 710 Phillips Street from 12 to 3 p.m. Come on out. Uh, families come out. 
uh, let the kids come out. We're going to have uh, uh, mentors there for these young kids, boys and girls. We're, mm -hmm. we're looking to target the uh, age groups of from, from 1 to 11. We want to start with them, but we won't refuse anybody that come out and, and we can talk to them and we mentor with them and sign them up because important of what's going on is we, we want to stop this level of crime, oh, yeah. uh, uh, not just black on black crime. Crime period. crime period, and we want to attack it where it starts at, and so we'll start with from one years old to 11 years old. I introduce our guests. Okay, well, I just want to piggyback on what you say, train up a child in the way they should grow, and when they're old, they won't bad. depart won't from depart. them. Won't depart. Well, speaking of that, when I was young, I graduated from Walter L. Coyne Senior High in 1975. I'm a proud uh, Coyne graduate and also alumni, and we have the alumni president, uh, Mr. James Raby, he's the president, alumni president of Walter L. Coyne. Uh, and I know he can tell us which year he graduated. Uh, I graduated a few years uh, before <laughs> you. A few years before you did. I like yeah. that. I like that. <laughs> uh, no, I grad I'm, in, I'm in the third graduating class of okay. Walter L. Coyne, graduate of 1955. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm certainly. Um, delighted and honored to be to serve as the president of the Alumni Association. But what I'd like to, and I certainly want to thank you for the opportunity to uh, let the community know that we will be celebrating our, our fourth annual uh, All Classes Reunion Festival on uh, uh, next Friday, that's October the 19th. And uh, we certainly want to uh, encourage all of you to come on out and to share with us. Uh, quite frankly, uh, we, we host this, uh, this uh, affair every year, and we do that to raise funds for scholarships mm -hmm. for the kids. The Alumni Association is very, very involved with, the, um, with COIN, and as a matter of fact, um, during the Mardi Gras season, we had a very successful uh, car parking uh, affair. We raised some $20,000 and were able to send some 12 uh, students to China. Oh, wow. And so those are the kinds of things that we're doing. And uh, so we ask you to come out and uh, to enjoy yourself, but also to uh, help a student, help us to help the students at Cohen. Now, what are the times? That's October the 19th? We will be there from 12 noon until 4 o'clock. Okay. Uh, we will, we're, there, there will be music. Uh, admission, of course, is free. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be uh, great music, great food, great everything. So come on out and visit with us and uh, help us to do the kind of things that we, 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 we're trying to do. Talk a little bit about what, what Corin is doing as alumni, what, what y'all doing to uh, uphold the legacy of Corin. The legacy of Corin has, has changed somewhat as is the case with uh, most of your schools throughout the city. Uh, Corin is now a charter school. Uh, we chartered the Alumni Association, entered into an agreement with New Orleans College Prep back in uh, late um, 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you're aware that the Recovery School District came in and took over the schools. And of course, it appears that their model was either to close schools, failing schools that is, or to charter those schools. And unfortunately, Cohen was a failing school, but uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, to partner with New Orleans College Prep, and of course, we have certainly made uh, tremendous stride gains. And of course, Coin is no longer a failing school, uh, but nevertheless, it is a charter school. So it has changed somewhat from the Coin that uh, that we knew mm -hmm. when we attended uh, when we attended Coin. Uh, unfortunately, Coin did have uh, some difficult times. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Coin at one time was. Uh, was in, was a failing school. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to acknowledge that. Right. Okay, but again, uh, we've been able to go in and to to make some changes and change and, and, and to work with the managers of Corn. Okay. Now you, you talk about and, and, and I'm, I'm glad you uh, acknowledged some things that that we realized that uh, not only Corn uh, was one of the failing schools, but there were other schools in the uh, Orleans Parish system that were failing, and we know that a new system came in to, to, to try to stop that that replication of, of, of failing, and and I, I got to mention Booker T as an example of, of uh, what was was Booker T. Uh, a school that maybe w was not coming up. Oh, what, what's Booker happening Washington, with Booker, Booker Washington was is, is a little different, and I'm become uh, I'm quite involved now with Booker Washington. Booker Washington, quite frankly, has not had students since uh, uh, 2004. I think mm. it is. 
but um, Book of Washington, the building itself, has now been demolished. And there's a, a little known fact that when Book of Washington was, was, was built in 1940, as a matter of fact, the Orleans Parish School Board purchased the land to build Book of Washington in 1940. That site, that land, was a city dump. Um, and of course, the school was built on a city dump. Uh, unfortunately, there were no EPAs around, and certainly there were no site assessments to determine whether or not there were any toxic materials or anything in the land. And so, for all practical purposes, uh, Booker Washington sat on a contaminated area for 40, 50 plus years, since 1940, as a matter of fact. Well, <clears throat> the school has now been demolished uh, because of the uh, Katrina damage and, of course, wear and tear and so forth. And, RSD has a plan now to rebuild Booker Washington. Uh, we are involved now because their plan is to relocate the students at Coin to Booker Washington. And of course, we are saying no, we are not going to allow you to do that, and we are not going to allow you to do that for a number of reasons, but primarily, we are not going to allow you to do that because Booker Washington, that site, is a contaminated site. As a matter of fact, there have been uh, some soil assessments and they have already identified some eight uh, toxic metals in that soil. We're talking about lead, we're talking about mercury, zinc, copper, mm -hmm. all of the, 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 the kind of uh, materials that we certainly don't want our children exposed to. Uh, and so we, it's, it's been a, uh, an ongoing process, but we are prepared to make sure that that does not happen. Uh, of course, the audit, I've been asked about the auditorium, but let me, let me if, if you would, for a minute, let me hesitate to say that we are not anti Book of Coin is not anti Book of Washington, mm -hmm. okay? Well, you, 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 we are pro coin. Yeah, and yeah. we're pro children, and and, and you're interested and, in the health of, of the and kids. And we're interested in the help of uh, the but, health but, but of our what kids. What about the teachers as well uh, that will be teaching them? Well, that, they're going to be affected by that's it as a well. consideration also. And of course, uh, you know, uh, we we like to say we've seen this movie before, mm -hmm. and we've seen this movie with Robert Moton Elementary School. That's right. Okay, in that uh, beautiful facility. Beautiful facility, but it was built on a toxic dump. And as a result of that, kids started to get sick, educators started to get sick, and of course uh, they went in and, and did some remediation, but it was haphazard at best. And of course, uh, the new soil that they brought in was, uh, was breached, and so they finally, well they closed it, uh, went in, did some work on it, and said, okay kids, you all come on back. Uh, but it turns out that really it, it was not effective, and so I guess to the to the extent that Katrina caused the damage that the kids can't go back. I guess that was a blessing. That was a blessing. That yeah. was a blessing that they're because not able to go that, back. Because other than that, they probably would have sent the kids back. Now, there has been a class action suit, and the the class was actually successful. They got a judgment. The only problem is it's been 18 plus years and no one except the original persons, uh, I understand, have received any monies. As a matter of fact, if I, uh, my memory serves me correctly, I think all of the students who attended Moton from, uh, what, uh, 1986 uh, to 95 were entitled to X number of dollars. I think it's something like $2,000, mm -hmm. but of course, none of those kids have seen that. And if we know, if history repeats itself, then there's a very strong possibility that none of these kids are gonna get any money. And so what we're attempting to do is to say, we've seen this movie, we know the outcome, and we're not gonna allow you to do that to our kids. And, and so, Corin being responsible for that community is responsible for the, the, the idea that they may want to move uh, uh, Corin School to another community that, that, that really is not, not uh, 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 that could be hazardous to their